Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are all good. So students, in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for the second week of the October month. In this video, 60 important MCQs along with some revision current affairs will be discussed. The session will be quite interesting and it will be very beneficial for the competitive exams. So stay tuned with us till the end. Also students, if you are new to our channel and haven't subscribed to us, do subscribe. We are one stop solution for current affairs. The content that we provide on daily basis is very important for the competitive exams. So do share the link of this video as well as subscribe to us if you are new here. Welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas Rana. We are one stop solution for current affairs. You can find our track current affairs course on our application exclusively for current affairs where you will be getting daily weekly and monthly current affairs on a regular basis. You can use code VIKAS10 to get additional 10% discount while purchasing the course. This video is available both in English and Hindi. The timestamp for both English and Hindi are mentioned in the description of each video. You can contact us on the number provided or mail provided. Also follow us on Telegram and Instagram and the link for the same is provided in the description of each video. Also students, we have started a new initiative that is of handwritten notes. It is helpful to understand the news daily, time saving and very useful for your revision. We aims to cover 15 questions via handwritten notes in upcoming bank exams. These handwritten notes are available on daily current affairs content PDF at our mobile application and website carriercloud.in. Only our crack current affairs subscribers will be able to access these handwritten notes. A sample PDF of the handwritten notes will be available in the description. Let's start with the first question. Which of the following points are correct with respect to the approval of union cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi? If we look at the options, option A and option B are right. C is wrongly mentioned here. C is saying that the union cabinet has approved to provide the status of classical language to Hindi, Pali, Prakrit, Assamese, Bengali languages. Is it so? In this, remember, the right option or this is wrong, right? So it has given the status of classical language, not to Hindi, but Marathi, correct? Pali, Prakrit, Assamese and Bengali language, right? This is the right option here. Now all the options are right. Next, which initiative completed their three year journey on 27th of September 2024 that was launched to build a comprehensive digital health ecosystem in India. So the main aim here is basically to initiate a digital health ecosystem in India. And the name of that mission is Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission, right? This is a flagship scheme of the government of India, which emerged from national health policy of 2017. And Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission, it has completed successfully three years. So we can say it was Prime Minister Narendra Modi who launched this Ayushman Bharat digital mission when it was launched in September 2021 and now in September 2024 it has completed three years. Also remember this Ayushman Bharat digital mission it is being implemented by which authority? National Health Authority that comes under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So far under this Ayushman Bharat digital uh, Ayushman Bharat digital mission remember Ayushman Bharat health accounts have been created and more than 67 crore Ayushman Bharat health accounts have been created also national health authority they have also launched a whatsapp chatbot that will be a user friendly platform that will be helping and providing details related to Ayushman Bharat digital mission next National Quantum Mission has recently selected premier institutions to establish DASH in India. First of all, remember in quantum, quantum means at a very small scale, right? Very small. In this, there are two things that I want you to remember qubits, right? There are multiple qubits. Say, for example, when we are dealing with 0 and 1, right? These are binary numbers, right? We are dealing with either 1 or 0 in various computer languages, right? Right. In quantum, we talk about qubits, right? And we also know there are quantum computers. These quantum computers, they have very fast processing speed. Multiple years of processing done by a small computer can be done through this quantum computer in just a matter of minutes. 
सो क्वेश्चन आज स्टेज दैट दिस नेशनल क्वांटम मिशन हैज रिसेंटली सेलेक्टेड प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूशन टू इस्टेब्लिश वॉट इट इज टू इस्टेब्लिश थीमेटिक हब्स इन इंडिया दिस विल इंक्लूड द इस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ फोर थीमेटिक हब्स राइट इन इंडिया these will basically help to bridge the gap between the research and industry and will promote innovation next which ministry has recently partnered with the military college of telecommunication engineering to foster innovation for defense application which is it it is mei ty mei ty and indore based and indore based indore is in madhya pradesh indore based एम सी टी ई दैट इज योर मिलिट्री कॉलेज ऑफ टेलीकॉम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग राइट एंड अलॉन्ग विद एम ई आई टी वाई दे हैव रिसेंटली पार्टनर टू फॉस्टर इनोवेशन एंड ड्राइव रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑल्सो टू प्रोमोट टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट इन द डिफेंस सेक्टर करेक्ट सो मेन फोकस विल बी ऑन रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड दिस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट विल बी इन द एरिया सच एज योर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस मशीन लर्निंग then chip design semiconductor design and 5g as well as 6g next union minister nirmala sitaraman she is our finance minister and she has attended recently the ninth annual meeting of the board of governors of aiib that is asian infrastructure investment bank question asked here is that this ninth edition of the annual meeting of the board of governors of aiib was held where it was held in samarkand that is in uzbekistan correct take a note of this and here the theme of this ninth annual meeting of the board of governors of aiib was building resilient infrastructure for all next which state has recently received 162 million dollar loan 162 million dollar this is a loan question asks is which state has received this loan and it was given by asian development bank basically to enhance the tourism in that particular state so himachal pradesh has received this 162 million dollar loan and it was received by asian development bank and the aim here is to promote tourism in himachal pradesh selected areas such as your mandi hamirpur kullu and kangra district these will be promoted and here renovations will be carried out of various public spaces so that it can become tourism friendly and it can also attract more in tourism in himachal pradesh next which ministry has recently released new guidelines for handling delays in submitting income tax return so recently it is ministry of finance they have recently released the new guidelines for handling the delays in submitting of the income tax returns these new rules will be coming into play from 1st of october 2024 and here remember it has stated that the power or it has stated that if the amount of claims is up to 1 crore or more than 1 crore in a particular year the principal commissioner of income tax have been vested with the powers to accept or reject such applications right moving on who was jointly awarded the nobel prize in physiology or medicine in 2024 with american development biologist victor ambrose for the discovery of micro rna so we are talking about the nobel prize in the field of physiology or medicine so who has been honored with this award right option is gary bruce rovkon right he is an american development biologist right and along with him remember one more that is victor ambrose victor ambrose victor ambrose and gary bruce rovkon they were jointly awarded with the nobel prize in physiology or medicine by the stockholm institute that is in sweden and why were they were awarded they were awarded for the discovery of rn micro rna and their role in the post transcriptional gene regulation next next is in which state drdo has recently conducted three flight test of the advanced fourth generation very short range air defense system so it is the state of rajasthan in which it is drdo that has conducted 
द फ्लाइट टेस्ट ऑफ एडवांस्ड फोर्थ जनरेशन वेरी शॉर्ट रेंज एयर डिफेंस सिस्टम करेक्ट एंड इन राजस्थान टू इट वॉज हेल्ड एट द पोखरान फील्ड और पोखरान फील्ड फायरिंग रेंज द टेस्ट वॉज डन फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड बेस्ड पोर्टेबल लॉन्चर नेक्स्ट विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज सेलिब्रेटेड द एटी थर्ड फाउंडेशन डे ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर इट इज सी एस आई आर काउंसिल ऑफ साइंटिफिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च एंड देयर आर्म दैट इज नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस कॉम्युनिकेशन एंड पॉलिसी रिसर्च दे हैव रिसेंटली ऑब्जर्व देयर एटी थर्ड फाउंडेशन डे वेन वॉज इट इट वॉज ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर ऑल्सो दिस सी एस आई आर इट वर्क टू ब्रिज द गैप बिटवीन द साइंस एंड इंडस्ट्री नेक्स्ट विच ग्रुप हैज रिसेंटली एंटर्ड इन टू अ स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप विद भूटान्स ड्रग होल्डिंग एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट टू बूस्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सोलर एंड हाइड्रो पावर प्रोजेक्ट इट इज रिलायंस ग्रुप राइट दे हैव एंटर्ड इन टू अ स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप विद द भूटान्स ड्रग होल्डिंग एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट टू बूस्ट द इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सेक्टर दैट इंक्लूडेड योर सोलर एंड हाइड्रो पावर प्रोजेक्ट देयर एम इज टू इस्टेब्लिश वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी मेगा वॉट ऑफ सोलर एंड हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर प्रोजेक्ट इन द हिमालयन किंगडम नेक्स्ट विद स्टेट ट्रेडिट विद स्टेट ट्रेडिशनल प्रोडक्ट हैव रिसेंटली रिसीव द जी आई टैग बाय द जी आई रजिस्ट्री सो रिसेंटली इट इज द स्टेट ऑफ असम इन विच द जी आई रजिस्ट्री हैज रजिस्टर्ड और गिवेन एट प्रोडक्ट द जी आई टैग फ्रॉम असम राइट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दम जो ग्वारन माइब्रा जो बिडवी जो गिशी right these are the variants of the rice beer that have been recently granted with the gi tag and a total of eight products have been granted here gi tag one of them is narzi narzi is basically semi fermented dish made with the jute leaves next which organization or ministry has recently launched anna darpan that is a new digital platform that will replace the depo online system so it is fci food corporation of india they have recently launched this anna darpan right take a note of this this is a microservice based integrated supply chain management system that has been known as anna darpan and here remember it has been launched as a comprehensive digital platform initiative to modernize the existing supply chain management system that is your depo online system and this will streamline basically the supply chain operation and also the services including mandis mills depots divisional level regional level zonal level and so on next which country's bilateral investment treaty that is bit with india has been conferred from 31st of august 2024 it is with uae right bit important very important students take a note of this bit that is bilateral investment treaty it has been signed between india and uae and it came into effect from 31st of august 2024 and this was signed in abu dhabi in january 2024 but this treaty will replace the earlier bi ppa right this was signed earlier between india and uae in september basically that was bilateral investment promotion and protection agreement and it has been replaced by bit now right and also india's over india's odi that is overseas direct investment in ua stands at 15.26 billion dollar from april 2020 to april august 2024 next name a new saving bank account that was recently launched by the bank of baroda for high end customers desiring premium services so what is the name of that new saving bank it is master stroke it has been designed by bank of baroda and it is for high end customers also bank of baroda they have named sachin tendulkar as their brand ambassador next which organization has recently secured its largest ever foreign currency term loan of 1.265 billion dollar it is pfc power finance corporation they have secured the largest ever foreign currency term loan worth 1.265 billion dollar right and here pfc plans to use this fund to finance various power projects that are related that are not related to thermal power that is 
not related to coal based but they will be promoting as the green projects that includes your green energy sustainable energy right solar energy and so on next which who was jointly awarded the nobel prize in physics with british canadian computer scientist jeffrey hinton for foundational discoveries and inventions that enable machine learning with artificial neural network so along with joffrey hinton the right option is john hoffeld along with joffrey hinton has been awarded with the nobel prize in physics next which country has recently won the second match test series or two not second two match test series so it is our india this test series was between india and bangladesh right and here remember here the bangladesh is or basically we, we can say this two that includes two test matches and three t20 international so two of these test matches has won by our india now next name the tennis player who has recently won the first china open title by defeating the world number 1 jenik sinner so carlos alcaraz right he is the tennis player who has recently won the first china open and he defeated jenik sinner in the finals next which company has recently entered into an mou with the mumbai port authority and mumbai port sustainability foundation to develop a cutting edge green fuel ecosystem at mumbai port it is bpcl bharat petroleum corporation limited they have entered into an mou with mumbai port authority as well as mumbai port sustainability foundation and this is basically to focus on green fuel ecosystem at the mumbai port so that green fuel is used at these ports that leads to sustainability as well as it reduces the pollution next which program was organized to commemorate the successful completion of 10 years of swachh bharat mission in new delhi on 2nd of october 2024 so which program was organized it is swachh bharat divas right prime minister narendra modi participated in swachh bharat divas program that was held at vigyan bhavan in new delhi on the occasion of 155th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi and the program was organized to commemorate the successful completion of 10 years of swachh bharat mission next which of the following points are correct with respect to jamaican prime minister andrew holness visit to india from 30th of september to 3rd of october if we look at the options here option b and option c are right a is wrong a is saying that india and jamaica extended five mous in the field of digital public infrastructure cultural exchange and sports is it right here remember everything is right that india and jamaica they have exchanged the mou but not five but four mous has been exchanged here next which airline has recently partnered with sbi cards and payment service limited to launch two co branded credit cards that are chris flyer sbi card and chris flyer sbi card apex so it is singapore airlines right this is the airline that has partnered with sbi cards and payments service limited right and these two cards has been launched and they have been launched basically for the high end customers these are the contactless cards that are available on american express and mastercard platform next who among the following were jointly awarded the nobel prize in chemistry 2024 by royal swedish academy of science in stockholm sweden so if we look at the option all these three options are rightly mentioned here david becker demis hesabes and john jumper they were jointly awarded with the nobel prize in chemistry 2024 by the royal swedish academy of science in stockholm sweden next name the organization or ministry that has recently approved lunar polar exploration mission that is lupex right fifth lunar mission of india so lupex was launched by national space commission nsc correct take a note of this and this will be conducted in collaboration between isro and jaxa this is also important question can be asked lupex is a joint venture or it is a mission that is between which two space organization it is isro and jaxa here this lupex mission it aims for a lunar surface duration of up to 100 days and what does lupex stands for lunar polar exploration mission 
नेक्स्ट पदमा अवार्डी रतन नेवल टाटा द चेयरमैन एमरेटस ऑफ टाटा सन्स रिसेंटली पास अवे इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र इन विच ईयर रतन टाटा वॉज ऑनर्ड विद पदमा विभूषण सो इट वॉज इन टू थाउजेंड एट दैट रतन टाटा जी वॉज ऑनर्ड विद पदमा भूषण एंड ही हैज रिसेंटली पास अवे एट द एज ऑफ एटी सिक्स इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र then one more thing remember he was honored with padma bhushan when that is the third highest civil in honor it was honored or ratan tata ji was honored in 2000 with padma bhushan next who is the author of recently released memoir titled the england chronicles so brain charles lara next who has recently entered into a 200 billion dollar club and became the world's fourth richest person in the world so owner of meta that is mark zakaba he has reached and and he has been in a club of 200 million dollar or 200 billion dollar club right and he became the fourth richest person in the world who is the richest person elon musk next next is which of the following points are correct with respect to prime minister narendra modi's visit to maharashtra on 5th of october if we look at the options option a and c are right b is wrong B is saying that he inaugurated six solar parks with a total capacity of 19 megawatt across Maharashtra under Mukhya Mantri Saur Krushi Vahini Yojana 2.0 in the Vasim district of Maharashtra. So, is it correct? No, not six solar parks, but five solar parks were recently inaugurated by him. Now, all the options are rightly mentioned. Next, which of the following points are correct with respect to the approval of the Union Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 9th of October? If we look at the options here, all the options are rightly mentioned. Next, who has been recently elected as the chairperson of the 77th session of the World Health Organization Southeast Asian Region Regional Committee? If we look at this, who has been recently elected here as the chairperson? J.P. Nadda ji. I repeat, Jagat Prakash Nadda ji. right he is our union minister of health and family welfare and he addressed the 77th session of the world health organization south east asian region regional committee and he was the chairperson here apart from this remember this 77th session of the regional committee for south asia was held from 7 to 9th of october next okay one more thing here remember bangladesh bangladesh became the first country in southeast asian region to eliminate kala azar it is a disease next who has recently co-chaired the 6th edition of india us commercial dialogue with gina raimondo usa secretary of commerce in washington dc usa so who recently co-chaired the 6th india us commercial from us commercial dialogue from us it she was gina raimondo and from india piyush goel ji next which bank has recently partnered with international finance corporation to provide a loan worth 500 million dollar to help develop a blue finance market in india it is axis bank limited right axis bank that is india's leading private sector bank they have been provided with a loan worth 500 million dollar that is about 4200 crore rupees to help develop a blue finance market and scale up financing for green projects in india next hang kang from south korea won the nobel prize in which category so hang kang from south korea has won the nobel prize in literature take a note of this and she became the first south korean to win a nobel prize in literature next is who is the only indian police indian police service officer selected for 2024 iacp 40 under 40 award this is basically award given to the individuals police officers who show bravery and who are in the favor or basically who works towards the implementation of the law so who is that only ips officer she is pritipal kaur next bihar's chief minister nitesh kumar has recently unveiled the logo and mascot of the Women Asian Championship Trophy 2024 scheduled to be held in November in Rajgir Bihar what is the name of that mascot the name of that mascot is gudia gudia is the term used by individuals in basically rural areas especially in the bihar for the girls little girls right and here also the logo features a bodhi tree as well as a hockey stick 
नेक्स्ट इंडिया वॉज द डैश बेस्ट परफॉर्मिंग मेजर ग्लोबल मार्केट ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ द एफ वाई सो इंडिया वॉज द सेकेंड बेस्ट परफॉर्मिंग मेजर ग्लोबल मार्केट ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ द एफ वाई नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट आर करेक्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द मालदीव प्रेजिडेंट डॉक्टर मोहम्मद मिजूज विजिट टू इंडिया फ्रॉम सिक्स टू टेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर इफ यू लुक एट द ऑप्शन ए एंड बी आर राइट सी इज रॉन्ग सी सेंग दैट आर बी एंटर्ड इन टू अ करेंसी स्वैप अग्रीमेंट वर्थ फाइव हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर एंड थर्टी बिलियन रुपीज स्वैप विंडो विद द मालदीव मॉनिटरी अथॉरिटी इज इट करेक्ट सो हेयर रिमेंबर आर बी आई एंटर्ड इन टू अ करेंसी स्वैप अग्रीमेंट वर्थ नॉट 500 million dollar but 400 million dollar and 30 billion rupees with the maldives monetary authority next which states prime minister or in which state prime minister narendra modi has recently virtually laid the foundation stone for the development projects in the state worth 7600 crore rupees right in which state it is it is in the state of maharashtra this will include the completion of various underlying infrastructure project it will also upgrade the dr bhim rao ambedkar international airport also new inter, uh, new integrated terminal building at shirdi airport will be established here then 10 government medical colleges will be established here and so on next which country has recently been officially declared free from trachoma that is a contagious bacterial infection by world health organization it is our india take a note of this and india became the third country in the southeast asian region after nepal and myanmar to secure this milestone next what is the position of india at the global hunger index with a score of 27.3 so india stands at 105th position in global hunger index out of 127 countries and india has been listed as under the category of serious next Next is which country's non-governmental organization that is NGO was awarded with the Nobel Peace Prize 2024. So, which country's NGO was awarded with the Nobel Peace Prize? It was of Japan. The name of that uh, NGO is Nihon Hidan Kyo, and basically this is an NGO that is made by the uh, survivors of the atomic bombs from Hiroshima and Nagasaki. and they have awarded with this nobel peace prize basically to make or to create awareness about a world free of nuclear weapons next who has topped the in the fortune recent report that is 2024 100 most powerful women in business so who topped it it was topped by mary berra right an american global business magazine that is fortune has released this list of 2024 100 most powerful women and mary berry uh, berra the chief executive officer of usa based general motor has secured the top position next which satellite launch vehicle of isro has recently re entered the earth's atmosphere after 8 years of its launch it is pslv c37 that is polar satellite launch vehicle next name the india's first female gymnast olympian who has recently announced her retirement from professional competition she is deepa karmakar right she also won the bronze medal in 2014 and became the first indian female gymnast to do so in the commonwealth games she has been honored with padma shri in the field of sports in 2017 with arjuna award in gymnast in 2015 and major dhyan chand khel ratan award in 2016 Next when is wildlife week annually observed across India to raise awareness about the importance of wildlife conservation and protecting India's rich biodiversity it is from october 2nd to october 8 we observe wildlife week right and this year it marks the 70th edition of the wildlife week in india and the theme for this is wildlife conservation through existence next name the artificial intelligence model that was recently built by meta that is formerly known as facebook to generate video and audio from text prompts so what is the name of that ai model it is movie gen correct and it can generate realistic video and audio clips based on the user prompts demonstrating potential to rival ai tools startups like open ai runway even labs and so on 
नेक्स्ट हु हैज रिसेंटली रिसीव द प्रेस्टीजियस क्रिकेटर्स फॉर वाइल्ड लाइफ कंजर्वेशन सर्विस अवार्ड फॉर प्रोटेक्टिंग फॉरेस्ट सो साबू वर्गीज ऑल्सो नोन एज कुंजॉन a member of the ex vanaya bark collectors eco development committee has received the prestigious cricketers for wildlife conservation service award and this is for his inspiring transformation from a smuggler to a forest protector in the peria tiger reserve next who has recently chaired the 194th meeting of the employee state insurance corporation in new delhi so dr mansukh manviya has chaired the 194th meeting of the ESIC that is Employee State Insurance Corporation in New Delhi. Next, also to enhance the medical education in India, ESIC has approved the establishment of ten new medical colleges across various states. Next, who has recently inaugurated the major atmospheric Chernikov experiment observatory that is Asia's largest and the world's highest imaging Chernikov observatory that will be at Honle Ladakh. Important location, it will be in. Uh, Honle Ladakh question asked is who inaugurated this observatory that is the Asia's largest and the world's highest imaging Chernikov observatory so who inaugurated it it was inaugurated by uh it was inaugurated by Dr Ajit Kumar Mohanty right he is the secretary of the department of atomic energy Next, which state government has recently got approval from the National Tiger Conservation Authority for the establishment of the state's second tiger reserve? So, which is that state? It is Bihar. So, Bihar will be getting their second tiger reserve. Which is the first tiger reserve? It is Valmiki Tiger Reserve. And now it will be getting their second tiger reserve that is in the Kaimur Wildlife Sanctuary. That will be known as Kaimur Tiger Reserve. Next. Which bank has recently approved an in principle loan of fifteen thousand crore rupees to Andhra Pradesh for developing Amravati as their capital city in collaboration with Asian Development Bank? So recently, it is World Bank along with Asian Development Bank. They have approved a loan worth fifteen thousand crore rupees, and it will be given to the state of Andhra Pradesh so that their capital, that is Amravati, can be developed. Correct? It can be developed, and it can be. provided with various funds so that they can do infrastructure development in amravati next who among the following is the winner of the swengis riks bank prize in economic sciences in memory of alfred nobel so this is your nobel prize in economics let me write it here nobel prize in economics who has been awarded this with the nobel prize in economics so all three of them darren s muglu Simon Johnson and James Robinson they have been awarded with the Nobel Prize in Economics. Next, who has recently been appointed as the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Bandhan Bank for a period of three years? So, Pratha Pratim Sen Gupta has been approved the appointment as the MD and CEO of Bandhan Bank Limited for the next three years. He will succeed whom? He will be succeeding Ratan. Kesh. Next, which organization has delivered INS Nirdeshak, that is Yard three zero two six, the second of the four survey vessel ships to the Indian Navy? It is GRSC, Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited. Right? This is they have delivered this INS Nirdeshak, that is Yard three zero two six, that is the second survey vessel of the four survey vessel large ships to the Indian Navy. right next next is which country has recently approved the sale of 53 mark 54 lightweight torpedoes all up rounds to india it is usa united states of america has approved the sale of 53 mark 54 lightweight torpedoes to india and these torpedoes will be used by mh 60r helicopters next where was the 27th international table tennis federation that is asian table tennis championship held from 7 to 13th of october 2024 it is astana kazakhstan right it was the 27th edition of the ittf asian table tennis championship that was held in astana kazakhstan like in this remember one more thing that indian uh, india was at the Seventh position in the 
मेडल टेली एंड इट वॉज जापान दैट इज सिक्योर द फर्स्ट पोजिशन इन द मेडल टेली विद एट मेडल्स एंड इंडिया वॉज एट द सेवन पोजिशन विद थ्री ब्रॉन्ज मेडल्स नेक्स्ट वेन इज द यूनाइटेड नेशन वर्ल्ड स्पेस वीक एनुअली ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लो इट इज फ्रॉम फोर्थ टू टेंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर वी ऑब्जर्व वर्ल्ड स्पेस वीक अक्रॉस द ग्लो एंड द थीम फॉर दिस इज स्पेस एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज राइट एंड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट वॉज द ईयर टू थाउजेंड इन विच दिस डे दिस वीक वॉज ऑब्जर्व नेक्स्ट इज विच मिनिस्ट्री हैज रिसेंटली अप्रूव्ड एन एक्स बैंड रडार टू बी इंस्टॉल्ड इन वायनाड केरला इट इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्थ साइंस करेक्ट एंड इट विल बी इस्टेब्लिश्ड इन वायनाड केरला दैट इज ए एक्स बैंड रडार करेक्ट This X-band radar will emit radiation in the X-band of the electromagnetic spectrum, and this new radar in Wynad will basically monitor the movements of particles such as soil to inform the landslide warnings. So this is launched basically to provide landslide warnings. In simple terms, we can say landslide warnings to the people of Kerala or Wynad. Then, which team has recently secured the second highest team score in the all? Men's T20 international cricket. It is our India that has secured the highest, second highest team score of 297 by six in the all men T20 international cricket. Right, the highest total T20 international cricket is by Nepal that scored 314 out of three against Mongolia in the Asian Games in the Huangzhou. Right, and this is the second highest. So that's all for the day, students. Now let's move to some revision part that will be beneficial for your learning. Which ministry has constituted a 26-member advisory committee on national account statistics, chaired by Bishwanath Goldar, to revise the base year for GDP data? So, which ministry constituted this 26-member advisory committee in order to basically revise the base year that has been used for calculating the GDP data of our country? so it is ministry of statistics and program implementation right it has constituted a 26 member advisory committee on national account statistics to revise the base year for gdp data this new committee will be headed by vishwanath goldar he is the former professor of the institute of economic growth and he will be the chairman here this 26 member committee has been formed for a 5 year tenure next the hemis festival is annually celebrated where it is celebrated in ladakh and this is on the 10th day of the she chu to mark the birth anniversary of guru padma swambhava the former uh, the founder of tibetan buddhism correct so this hemis festival is celebrated where in ladakh and this time it was on 16th and 17th of june that this was celebrated next which of the following are correct with respect to the three initiatives recently launched by ministry of health and family welfare if we look at them option b and c is right a is wrong a is saying that virtual national quality assessment assurance standards assessment for the community welfare center has been launched is it correct so no remember virtual national quality assurance standard assessment for it has been launched not for community wellness center but it has been launched for ayushman arogya mandirs right take a note of this then a dashboard assisting national state and district health institutions in monitoring compliance with indian public health standards has been launched and a spot food license and registration initiative for the food vendors so that their license process can become easy and streamline has been launched next which state government has recently notified new acts to provide social security and wellness measures to motor transport and allied workers so it is the state of karnataka right karnataka state government has notified these new acts to provide social security and welfare measures to motor to motor transport and allied workers right this act will establish a dedicated social security fund and it will be financed on the motor transport business from various grants and various contribution from various other beneficiaries next which of the following has recently launched a 3 month campaign named sampurnata abhiyan to achieve 100% saturation of 12 key social sectors indicators across all 500 aspirational blocks and 112 aspirational districts in india so it is niti aayog right niti aayog has launched this 3 month long campaign 
दैट हैज बीन नेम्ड एज संपूर्णता अभियान एंड इट इज टू अचीव हंड्रेड परसेंट सेचुरेशन ऑफ ट्वेल्व की सोशल फैक्टर्स करेक्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस रिमेंबर दिस कैंपेन पीरियड वॉज फ्रॉम फोर्थ ऑफ जुलाई टिल थर्टी एथ ऑफ सेप्टेंबर एंड अंडर दिस संपूर्ण अभियान इट सॉ इट हैज बिन लॉन्च अक्रॉस हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व एस्पिरेशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड फाइव हंड्रेड एस्पिरेशनल ब्लॉक्स अक्रॉस इंडिया राइट सो दैट दीज एस्पिरेशनल ब्लॉक्स एंड एस्पिरेशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट कैन बी मॉडिफाइड एंड डेवलपमेंट कैन ब्रिंग कैन बी ब्रॉट टू दीज एरियाज इन दीज ट्वेल्व की सोशल फैक्टर्स नेक्स्ट विद स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज रिसेंटली प्रेजेंटेड अ बजट ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव लैख करोड़ रुपीज फॉर एफ वाई ट्वेंटी फाइव इट इज द स्टेट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश राइट एंड जगदीश देवडा ही इज द डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश ही प्रेजेंटेड दिस बजट वर्थ थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव लैख करोड़ रुपीज फॉर एफ वाई ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड दिस बजट इज सिक्सटीन परसेंट हायर एज कंपेयर टू लास्ट ईयर एफ वाई ट्वेंटी फोर बजट द थीम ऑफ दिस बजट वॉज विकसित मध्य प्रदेश विकसित भारत विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज रिसेंटली पार्टनर्ड विद द स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया फॉर अ ग्रो विद द ट्रीज प्लांटेशन ड्राइव एट इट्स हेड क्वार्टर इन श्रीनगर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इट इज बी एस एफ दैट इज बॉर्डर सिक्योरिटी फोर्स राइट बी एस एफ एंड एस बी आई दे हैव पार्टनर्ड फॉर ग्रो विद ट्रीज प्लांटेशन ड्राइव एट द बी एस एफ हेड क्वार्टर इन श्रीनगर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर द एम हेर इज टू बेसिकली इंक्रीज द ग्रीन एरिया नियर बाय दैट कैंपस नेक्स्ट एक्सिम बैंक हैज रिसेंटली साइन एन अग्रीमेंट विद डैश टू प्रोवाइड एन इंडिया सपोर्टेड लाइन ऑफ क्रेडिट ऑफ टू पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन डॉलर सो एक्सिम बैंक दे हैव साइन एन अग्रीमेंट विद गायना एंड दिस इज टू प्रोवाइड अ लाइन ऑफ क्रेडिट वर टू पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन डॉलर दिस अग्रीमेंट विल हेल्प गायना इन टू ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम फॉसिल फ्यूल टू रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी एंड देयर एम इज टू रिड्यूस द कार्बन एमिशन एंड प्रमोट द सस्टेनेबल एनर्जी इन देयर कंट्री नेक्स्ट विच इंश्योरेंस कंपनी हैज रिसेंटली साइंड अ कॉर्पोरेट एजेंसी अग्रीमेंट विद हिमाचल प्रदेश स्टेट कॉपरेटिव बैंक टू इंप्रूव द एक्सेस टू हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस इन हिमाचल प्रदेश इट इज स्टार हेल्थ एंड अलाइड इंश्योरेंस कंपनी लिमिटेड नेक्स्ट विच कंपनी हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च इंडिया फर्स्ट टूरिज्म इंडेक्स फंड इट इज टाटा एसेट मैनेजमेंट प्राइवेट लिमिटेड right it has launched the india's first tourism index fund that will be tracking all the companies all the equity market companies that are related to travel sector next which bank has recently introduced a new security mechanism that is safety ring within its internet banking system and mobile banking system so which bank has introduced this new security mechanism that is safety ring this was introduced by punjab national bank this safety ring it is an optional mechanism that will allow the customers to set daily transaction limit with respect to the term deposits and online closure or availing overdraft facility on the tds up to the stated limited amount that means limited transactions you can set the limit on the transactions as well as on the amount of the transaction per day next name the mutual fund that has recently launched india's first oil and gas etf it is icici prudential mutual fund they have launched india's first oil and gas exchange traded fund it should be noted that the scheme carries a very high risk rating and the public subscription for the scheme began on 8th of july and it will it closed on 18th of july next which bank has recently entered into a bank insurance partnership with bajaj alliance life insurance company limited it is federal bank right this strategic partnership will enable the customers of the federal bank to easily access the wide range of the customized life insurance products from bajaj alliance across their network name the credit education program that was launched by women entrepreneurship platform in partnership with trans union civil limited to empower women entrepreneurs in india it is shahar right so wep that is women entrepreneurship program and trans union civil they have launched to partner or they have partnered together to launch shahar initiative this shahar initiative this is a credit education program that is aimed at empowering the women entrepreneurs in the financial literacy 
helping them with business skills right helping them with finance tools and so on so that they can grow their business this program will support india's 5 trillion dollar economic goal by empowering the women and make their business profitable next in july union minister of state dr jitendra singh in the ministry of science and technology has launched indo french liver and metabolic disease network at dash so where was this launched this was launched at institute of liver and biliary science in new delhi this initiative is addressing the rising cases of the fatty liver disease in india and aims to prevent and cure these liver disorders next in june uh, in july the government of india mandated the indian standard institution mark that is your isi mark for the stainless steel and aluminium kitchen utensils to confirm to the national quality standards that are set by dash so this isi mark will be on all of these stainless steel and aluminium kitchen utensils and it will be mandatory for those utensils to have this mark in order to be sold in the market correct so these rules this isi mark standard has been set by whom it has been set set by bureau of indian standard which country has recently introduced a new yen bank notes with 3d hologram technology to combat counterfeiting so we are talking about yen currency yen currency is of japan so japan they have launched this new yen bank notes with 3d hologram technology to combat counterfeiting and with this japan became the first country in the world to utilize this holography that creates a 3d rotating effect in the yen notes next which bank celebrated the 69th foundation day on 1st of july it is which bank state bank of india state bank of india they recently celebrated the 69th foundation day on 1st of july 2024 moving on which organization has recently signed a long term currency swap uh, currency loan agreement with ng group to construct and operate a 400 megawatt solar photovoltaic power plant in surendranagar district in gujarat which is this organization this is asian development bank adb they have signed this long term currency loan agreement with france based ng group and this is to construct 400 megawatt of solar photovoltaic plant in surendranagar district in gujarat india the proposed solar plant will generate on an average of 805 gigawatt per hour energy per year over the next 25 years next which insurance company has recently launched an agency transformation project named jeevan samrat to future proof their 14 lakh agents workforce to meet the evolving customer needs this is your life insurance corporation of india correct here remember this lic they have partnered with at kearney the global strategy consulting firm to undertake the transformation project and this project will revamp the agency operations at various branch division and at even at the zonal level this will establish the global practices that are used globally in the changing insurance industry and it will help us to change the regulatory landscape in india next which company has recently renamed as samman capital limited following the receipt of a certificate of registration as a nbfc investment and credit company from the rbi so which company has renamed samman capital limited the company is icic uh, i repeat the company is india bulls housing finance limited it has been renamed to samman capital limited next rbi imposed a monetary penalty of 1.31 crore rupees on dash for non compliance with the directions on the loans and advances and kyc so rbi imposed a monetary penalty of 1.31 crore rupees on punjab national bank next name the new health and income protection plan that was recently launched by paytm for its merchant partners it is which what is the name of that new protection plan it is health sathi right it is noida based fintech company uh, that is paytm right that is owned by 197 communication limited they have launched this paytm health sathi 
and it is a health and income protection plan for merchant partners that is available on Paytm for business app that is starting at 35 rupees per month. Maharashtra's Chief Minister Eknath Shinde has released a dash rupees commemorative coin in memory of freedom fighter Jawaharlal Amol Chand Darda on his 101st birth anniversary. So her 100 rupees commemorative coin was launched here. This coin was released on the 101st birth anniversary of Jawaharlal Darda ji that was on 2nd of July. And this circular coin is made up of four alloys that weighs 35 grams and it is 44 millimeter in diameter. Next in July, Dash and the Cyber Peace Foundation launched the Digital Shakti 5.0 campaign to digitally empower and upskill women and girls in cyberspace. So it is National Commission for Women, NCW and Cyber Peace Foundation. They have launched this Digital Shakti 5.0 campaign to digitally empower and upskill the women and girls in cyberspace. This Digital Shakti 5.0 Correct, this is the fifth phase of the initiative and that is aiming to extend the reach to almost 10 lakh women. Next, which ministry has recently designated as the Nodal Ministry for the Hajj Committee of India that is a statutory body that organizes the Hajj pilgrimage for Indian pilgrims. It is Ministry of Home Affairs. Right, it is led by Union Minister Kiran Rijiju and it has been designated the Nodal Ministry for the Hajj Committee of India that is the statutory body that organizes the Hajj pilgrimage for Indian pilgrims. Previously, it is Ministry of External Affairs that was managing this Hajj pilgrimage. Next, which bank has recently joined project Nexus, an international initiative that aims to facilitate instant cross-border retail payments by linking domestic fast payment services through the unified platform. So, which bank it is? It is Reserve Bank of India, right? And this project Nexus, it is an innovation hub of the Basel, Switzerland-based Bank for International State Settlement, that is BIS. And this is basically to streamline and standardize the connection between the domestic and instant payment systems worldwide. Also remember, it is the first BIS project in the payment moving towards the live implementation. This aims to connect the payment systems, fast payment systems of Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand and India. Moving on. Which bank has recently launched MSME Sahaj that is a web-based digital business loan solution for MSME invoice financing. It is State Bank of India, right? SBI has launched this MSME Sahaj that is a web-based digital business loan solution for MSME invoice financing. The objective here is to basically offer on tap short term credit to meet the capital need of the MSME units who are a part of the GST regime. Next, name the bank that has recently partnered with Receivables Exchange of India Limited to offer pre-shipment financing solutions for MSMEs. It is DBS Bank India. DBS Bank India will be the first bank to partner with RXIL that is Receivables Exchange of India Limited. And this will offer end-to-end -end supply financing and this offering will be particularly relevant for the MSME and SMEs across India. Next, which bank has recently launched a prepared student Sapphire Forex card for Indian students heading abroad for higher education? So this student Sapphire Forex card, it will be basically a card that will be helping them in paying their education fees, their hostel fees, right their day-to-day -day expenses in the foreign countries right so which bank has launched this student sapphire forex card it has been launched by icici bank next which bank has recently signed a co-lending partnership with pirimal capital and housing finance limited for msmes and home loan segment it is axis bank right axis bank has signed this co-lending partnership with pirimal capital and housing finance limited for MSME and home loan segment. This partnership will boost the financial conditions or basically financial help for the underserved borrowers and make it easy for the MSMEs to have the finance at 
लो इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑल्सो विच मिनिस्ट्री हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च प्रोजेक्ट परी दैट इज पब्लिक आर्ट ऑफ इंडिया टू क्रिएट वेरियस वॉल पेंटिंग्स म्यूरल कल्चर एंड इंस्टॉलेशन इन पब्लिक प्लेसेस इन डेली इट इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर दे हैव रिसेंटली लॉन्च दिस प्रोजेक्ट परी टू क्रिएट वेरियस वॉल पेंटिंग्स एंड म्यूरल्स इन द पब्लिक प्लेसेज ऑफ डेली एंड इट इज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट इंडिया इज सेट टू होस्ट द यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज कमिटी फॉर दिस रीजन ओनली दिस प्रोजेक्ट परी वॉज लॉन्च करेक्ट एंड दिस फोर्टी सिक्स सेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज कमिटी इज शेड्यूल्ड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी वॉज शेड्यूल्ड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई टू थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई लोकेशन भारत मनपम न्यू डेली नेक्स्ट द यूनियन कैबिनेट ऑफ इंडिया अप्रूव द साइनिंग ऑफ द बायोडाइवर्सिटी बियॉन्ड नेशनल जूरिडिक्शन अग्रीमेंट और हाई सीज ट्रीटी अंडर डैश सो यूनियन कैबिनेट ऑफ इंडिया दे हैव अप्रूव द साइनिंग ऑफ दिस हाई सीज ट्रीटी अंडर यूनाइटेड नेशन कन्वेंशन ऑन द लॉज ऑफ द सी दिस एम ऑफ दिस ट्रीटी इज बेसिकली टू कंजर्व द मरीन इको सिस्टम कंजर्व द मरीन इको सिस्टम नेक्स्ट Which ministry or organization has approved the proposal to display nutritional information regarding total sugar, salt, and saturated fat in bold letters as well as large fonts on the labels of the packaged foods? Which is that organization or ministry? It is FASAI, Food Safety and Standard Authority of India. They have made it mandatory to uh, label the sugar, salt, and saturated fat content in both bold and large font sizes on the packaged foods. Next, SEBI raised the threshold of basic service DMAT account from the existing limit of two lakh rupees to ten lakh rupees. Direct question. As per the new regulation, in order to be eligible for this BSDA, that is your basic service DMAT account, an individual is required to have only one DMAT account, and the person should be the sole or the first holder across all the deposits and the value of the securities that should not exceed. more than earlier it was 2 lakh rupees now it has been extended to 10 lakh rupees next sebi has revised all the eligibility criteria for entry and exit of stocks in the dash segment of exchanges so sebi it has revised the eligibility criteria for entry and exit of the stocks in the derivative segment of the exchanges next which bank has recently signed an agreement to provide financial support of over 850 crore rupees for urban infrastructure projects in mumbai with mumbai metropolitan region development authority so which bank recently signed an agreement for this financial support of 850 crore rupees it is kfw bank right and as per the agreement mmrda will also raise around 365 crore rupees through their own resources as it is equity contribution for this sustainable projects next which bank has recently launched a new facility for online collection of direct taxes for their customers it is bandhan bank right bandhan bank has recently launched a new facility for online collection of direct taxes for its customers this service is available available through internet banking payment gateway cash check or demand draft and it also accepts offline payment of the direct taxes through their 1700 branches across india next which bank has recently launched their new union premier branches for high value customers in the rural and semi urban markets so which bank has recently launched this union premier it has been launched by union bank of india as the name suggests union so union bank of india right and here remember these junior premier these are the branches that are designed for the high value customers of the union bank both in rural and semi urban areas in mumbai maharashtra these branch will provide personalized banking services offering a wide range of the products and services under one roof for the high value customers